Hi guys, this is Heather from Peacock and Poppy, and I'm here to show you how to make a simple wire-wrapped loop. The difference between the loop that we made before, which is a simple loop, looks like this, is that a wrapped loop is going to actually lock the bead on. So in this case, you can reopen these and put other things on. And when we make a wrapped loop, we can't do that. So again, I'm working from the spool, which means we have to remember to string our bead first. We're going to need round nose pliers, a pair of flush cutters, and maybe a pair of either uh, bent nose or chain nose pliers. It depends how comfortable you are holding things with your fingers. So to start with, we're going to leave ourselves um, about an inch or two. Uh, two to three inches is probably better, especially since you're just starting this and you might not be as comfortable working in tight spaces when it comes to uh, manipulating the wire. So give yourself uh, at least two to three inches to work with. Grab the um, wire with the pliers and bend 90 degrees so you have a 90 degree angle. Then we're going to go back in with the pliers, with the round nose pliers, grab the wire and bring it over to make a loop. You can see how it kind of looks like this right now? That's okay. What I'm going to do now, put my pliers back in and finish the loop. Okay, see, nice loop. Now, here's what makes this a wire wrapped loop. I'm going to hold my pliers to keep my um, the shape of my loop good, and then I'm going to take my finger and wrap this wire around the stem wire. I usually wrap two to three times. Uh, this is really a matter of preference and design, but to start with, I would I would aim for like three times. And just make sure you keep your loops nice and tight. And that's two. And that's three. Now, you have this great big long tail hanging off the end. When you get better at this, you're going to be able to wrap with less wire, which means you won't have this all this waste. Uh, but to start with, give yourself, uh, give yourself enough of a tail that you can work with it. So then you just snip off the last little bit and we push our bead up. See how the loop is wrapped versus the simple loop, which is not wrapped. Okay, so now let's make the other side. Again, we're gonna grab the, the wire at the base under the bead, and I'm gonna bend 45 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, I keep saying 45. And we're going to do the same thing we did before, which is turn the pliers or move the wire to make a loop. Again, see, I don't have a full loop here. That's okay. I can take my pliers out, put them back in, and finish my loop. There we go. Now, again, I'm going to put my pliers back in, and I'm going to wrap once, twice, three times. Then I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to snip nice and close to where my wrap ends. And that's it. Now, the reason I said that you might need chain nose or bent nose pliers is because sometimes you'll get little pieces of wire that stick up a little bit too much. You can see one right here. And all you're going to do is go in with your pliers and squeeze them tight so that there's nothing that's sticking out. Now, an important thing to remember is these loops the wrapped loops cannot be opened, but the simple loops can be. So if I wanted to make a bracelet all out of wrapped loops, I have to remember to put the first, the next loop into the old loop before I do my wrap. With the simple loop, you don't have to do that because you can just take your pliers and open it. All right, so that's it for today. Um, feel free to comment and let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're going to be doing more tutorials in the future. So I hope you'll stick around.